better. Hey guys, welcome to Phobe Academy, where today we will be talking about lighting. The word photography itself literally means drawing with light. If you can get good lighting, you're pretty much set. The two main things to avoid when taking photos, hard, harsh light and artificial light. You're out with your friends at the beach and this might seem like a really good time to take photos, right? Because it's beautiful and it's sunny, but this isn't exactly true. When you shoot in direct sunlight, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get a lot of harsh white highlights and a lot of really dark shadows. And these are very hard to Photoshop out. So it's best to avoid it as much as possible when taking really nice portraits. Now, of course, you can't always avoid it. If you must shoot outside, try to find a shady place. This might go against everything you've ever learned about photography that you want to shoot towards the light, but really it'll look a lot better if you shoot in the shade because you'll avoid having harsh highlights and shadows. The second thing to avoid is artificial light. If you are in a studio with fancy artificial lights that I don't know how to use, that's fine. Your kitchen lights may not be the best thing to shoot in. Why? They're very yellow and they leave a lot of weird double shadows because there's kind of this hard yellow light coming from all different directions. So really, if you can avoid it, try your best to not use that artificial indoor lighting. In a general portrait setting, the best lighting to use is nice, soft, diffused, natural light. Light that's been diffused through the clouds, through a curtain, through a white sheet of paper. You can really use anything to sort of mellow that light out. I mean, this is kind of the best way to ensure you have a nicely lit soft portrait. Let's first take a look at this portrait on a very bright sunny day. You'll notice that the eyes are really shaded out and there are very harsh shadows here and very bright highlights here. Now let's take a look at this portrait. I took this on a foggy day at the beach. Notice how her whole face is lit, you can see her eyes, and there are very few harsh shadows or very bright highlights that distract you from the actual subject of the portrait. Now let's say you live in an area like me where it's just sunny constantly. The best times to shoot, even in a sunny area, would be early morning and late afternoon. Late afternoon in the photography world is known as golden hour. This is as beautiful as it sounds, right before sunset, and you get this beautiful, hazy, golden light cast over your subject. This is most photographers' favorite time of day to shoot, especially portraits. Also, one rumor we should probably quell is that you have to have the light coming directly onto your subject. That's not necessarily true. Sometimes it's okay to have the light coming from behind or to the side of your subject. Experiment a little bit. If you have the light behind your subject and you're realizing your subject's face isn't lit up enough, that's totally fine. You can use anything from a piece of tin foil or a light reflector that you can buy online for a couple of dollars. Really, any of these will work to add more light to your subject's face in low lit conditions. One more thing I have to mention before we go is if you have the option, never, ever, ever use the built-in flash. Even if you're in a low light situation, this will pretty much always be better than this. Let's be honest, we never look that good under flash. I mean, these are really just rules that you can use on a general basis, artificial or hard light. If that helps you convey your message, then by all means use it. As my photography teacher would say, go forth and create. Happy shooting, Fopers.